Hi guys, Ralph here, Noise Busters. Um, today I'm excited to show you just like a small overview from the new Polymercent um, from Bitwig Studio. For anybody who is curious to see um, how it looks, that's the one. And um, what it is, is, is um, kind of a kind of a modular synthesizer so you have like different oscillators you can choose from you have different filter types um, and different envelopes you can choose and then you have a sub oscillator a noise a filter envelope <coughs> and here's some controls about a uh, high pass filter and the pitch and glide with, li with legato mode and if you want to see how it's built, you can open that window and that's the whole synthesizer. So it's built in in the polygrid actually and then you can also if you want to make your own adjustments to the synthesizer you just right click here and take convert to polygrid and then you can edit the whole uh, routing changing different stuff, uh, putting new oscillators in, whatever you're up for. So you, as you already see, it's, it's very, very flexible. And um, I will open up the original again. Um, that's one thing I found out just now that if you convert it to a polygrid, you can't go back to that view. So, um, how it sounds. And you can change here the like wavetable, which is also new in Bitwix 3.3, which is still in beta in a moment. And then you have different um, wavetables you can choose from. What I really like here also that you can see um, how the wavetables uh, look like so you can get an easy idea um, in which direction you go. And they're really interesting ones like the Kaplus waveforms and the fractal ones for example. So it's really really flexible and I will do another video where I show <coughs> a bit more what you can do with it and um, here we have the help view from the synthesizer so it's easy for everybody to understand what's actually going on and you can change parameters here in the help view and then uh, find out what it all does Here for the filter and here for the envelope as well and you can also change this one to see what's with the sub oscillator the filter section and so on um, so it's actually self-explaining and uh, it invites you to just try it out and play it and make some cool sounds with it um, yeah that's a small overview what it does how it looks like and if you have a subscription plan, go into your account and download the beta and find out by yourself. Bye.